Hello all. Uh, this is going to be about uh, recording uh, OpenGL games. Uh, that, in other words, non-DirectX games, <laughs> um, such as Quake 3, and uh, pretty much the entire id Software catalog up until uh, their last release of Rage. I don't think that supports Linux. So Linux-based games, OpenGL, um, Unreal Tournament 2004 is uh, OpenGL. Uh, Warzone, and, you know, a few others. Um, so it's going to be uh, recording in full screen with the audio. Okay? So, and we're not going to be using uh, desktop software recording such as Kazam or Cord My Desktop or anything like that. This is going to be command line based as well. So there's a lot of software, if you don't have it, that you have to install. So I've made some notes here. And the first thing is a program uh, compilation of, called GLC. That's their main program to, uh, for capturing uh, video, in-game video in full screen. So you have to add a repository, as I've written here. And for 64-bit users, you have to get the libraries. Uh, there's two of them here. They won't take long. And recommended software, or actually I really suggest getting this stuff, is uh, Caden Live. Uh, to get the latest version, you can add a repository. Uh, ABI Demux, you can get that from the Ubuntu Software Center or whatever distribution you're using. Uh, if you're using Pulse Audio, which Ubuntu does, uh, you need the Pulse Audio volume control. That's very important. Mencoder, uh, to encode the files and M player for playing back the audio to make sure it's extracted properly. Okay, now it's on to the uh, fun part, uh, capturing with GLC. And the command is uh, right here, GLC-capture, then uh, switches, and then the name of the game. In this case, it's Quake 3, or IO Quake 3. And the switches are uh, dash S uh, to start recording right away, dash I. Um, We'll give you a uh, red um, box at the top, uh, a red square at the top right, while it's, if it's recording. Uh, dash J, very important uh, force also to record the audio. And this uh, dash B back is a frame buffer override, so you can see this indicator, dash I, with the, the red square at the top. I suggest not using the dash S so you can load the game and then once the game is loaded um, you press the shift F8 and that will start recording and you should see the red box at the top right and when you're done you just press shift 8 again uh, to finish the recording then you can exit the game. So hopefully you have all the software installed and your audio settings ready to go. So just open a terminal, uh, just control alt T and uh, change the directory to where your game is. In this case, it's IO Quake 3. And then you can just, uh, if you know the executable, in this case it's IO Quake 3, you just copy this in and paste it and you can edit you know, the what the name of the game is itself. And um, like I suggested, to take out the start right away switch dash S and pressing shift F8. So I've already done that, so I'm not going to capture that right now. However, I will show you the uh, listing in detail in this folder. And... The one I recorded uh, is right here, IO Quake 3, and it's got a bunch of 64-bit uh, stamp on it, and it's .glc, and right here, that's the size, that's about 6.3 gigabytes. So similar to Fraps, we used Fraps in Windows and recorded like a 3 or 4-minute video, it, you know, they get up there in size, and so... To downsize this, uh, we're going to have to encode it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, 
um, before we move on is uh, when you put that command in to record, wherever it went, uh, it should automatically open the game for you and start. So that's why I suggest uh, to use the key combination instead of just telling it to start recording right away so you can have control over when you want it to start and stop playing. Okay, so on to the encoding. And it's the... Uh, you can use GLC play actually if you just use this first part. GLC play and the name of that file. It will play back. Uh, sometimes it won't play back very well and you probably won't hear any sound. Uh, either. So, basically to uh, encode this into a workable size and file is GLC play, name of the uh, recorded file GLC, dot GLC, and these switches here using Mencoder and the V codec, video codec, and the output is to whatever you want to call it, dot AVI, so I just call it q3a.avi and I'll go to that directory there it is there and it's 500 and a half uh, megabytes so it's cut down in size quite a bit finally the last thing we have to do is extract the audio so again GLC play name of your uh, GLC file and these switches here to get an audio output and I've already done that that should be I think I did anyway there it is that's about 20 megabytes so we'll just cop whoop, oh boy zoom back out we'll just copy this And clear the screen and paste that in and we'll type uh, this is for M player it's for it only takes a second by the way to do that uh, output audio it's just really quick so M player just to make sure the audio does work so you press enter and you see here whoa, that is playing back okay no video of course and uh, the sample rate uh, and pulse audio at 22 kilohertz uh, I think you press escape yeah okay press escape to stop uh, recording so that the good news is we're done with the command line goodbye 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 and we can move on to uh, um, fixing up the video and adding in the audio. A uh, quick note here, I forgot to mention uh, I should get Audacity as well. That's in the software center. And so we'll open up Audacity and uh, go to our IO Quake folder and this audio file. You can drag it in and play it back if you wish. But that's the audio file. Um, that was extracted from the video, so we'll close that. I've already made a backup copy of that. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the video. This was not too big. As you can see, it's a kind of dark, and there's no audio in here. So we'll, we can fix that as well. So we'll open AVI Demux. And go look for the AVI. There it is there. Oops. Open. Don't worry about the black screen or anything. Uh, to play it, just press P. It should play back. And to pause it, stop. Press P again. Press home. Now we'll go to video. <clears throat> We're going to have to use the encoder options here. Video audio and the format <clears throat> so for video it's going to be uh, mp4 and we're going to add a filter 
under colors, contrast, hit add. A window should pop up with contrast and you can use this slider here to slide through the video. Go back to near the beginning where it was uh, Okay, just bump up the contrast a bit, brightness a bit. Just something to, you know, just to bring out the, make it a little brighter. When you're done, um, obviously you can't see the controls at the bottom, but they're, the two buttons are cancel and, and okay, so you hit, you hit the tab key twice. And then press enter. That should be for OK. Whoops. I'm sorry. Highlight the video. Tab, tab. There we go. And active filters contrast. So good. Close that. Now we're going to have to uh, grab the audio. Main track. And the audio source is not in the video. So we have to choose from the drop down. External AC3 MP3 or Wave. I chose Wave. Click Browse. Uh, I saved it in the Videos folder, and it's this one audio. Open. Hit OK. Now press P to play it, and you should see the video play back with the audio. Okay. Uh, the colors will be uh, the brightness and stuff will be you'll see that when it's rendered so you just go save desktop if you wish and anything quake 3 a arena dot mp4 hit save give it a few minutes and it'll be ready to go so I'm just going to cancel that and exit <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to upload this up to before I upload this video I think this is the right one, uh, but to give you an idea of the final, there's the audio and video, and that's got me talking over it because I wanted to uh, do a precursor to this. Okay, so that's full screen with the in-game audio, and you know you can choose whether if you want to talk over it or not to explain something, and. Uh, that's pretty much it. I know it's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's a lot of uh, messing around and a lot of downloading, a lot of configuring, but I think it's worth it. It's a lot of fun, you know, especially, you know, to capture these games and, and, uh, and you can upload them to YouTube in full screen and up to as whatever resolution you want, actually. Okay, so that's it for this one, and I uh, I hope uh, you found this of some use and any questions or comments, just be, feel free to add them and uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.